Why are sea creatures dying? Hey there! Welcome to This and That by Rohit. After so many days of hard work, finally my project is ready. Ba 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 ba! I present to you a message in a bottle. Going to be explaining to you about ocean. Acidification. The bottle here represents it, which is with its rich biodiversity and rich marine life with, with coral and clean water. Not to forget very rich marine life. Have a look at this beautiful piece. It looks peaceful, but look more closely. It look pretty. It's a beach area. And oh, inside oh, you see oh. the water and uh, what's that inside? Coral fishes and lots of underwater plants. On this side, you can see all those Indra trees are letting off lots of nice. smoke. Zoom in there. Yeah, those industries there. Man cutting down trees as usual. Is it pretty? Those undress trees are putting out their waste into the water. Can you see it? Yeah, there. You can see that. Cars emitting smoke. Oh, ships emitting smoke. Even the sand. Ship. Ship emitting smoke, yeah. And even sand, um, sand mining. Yeah, sand mining. <laughs> Due to the growth of Indra's trees and man-made made activities, huge amount of carbon dioxide is released to our our atmosphere. Right. Ooh, that's a huge cloud there. Yes. Sand mining and cutting down of trees are, are other reasons of environmental imbalance. The, this huge cloud of carbon dioxide and creates global warming. This excessive carbon dioxide not only pollutes the atmosphere, but also dissolves in the ocean water to make ocean acidification. Yeah, that's what it forms. Yes. As you can see, 71% and our earth is covered with water. Huge part of our earth is going to turn acidic. So here I have a, a pH scale to show how acidic the water is. On the pH scale, 0 means highly acidic, it, and it 14 means basic, and, and 7 means neutral. Yeah, neutral. So we're looking for neutral, right? Yes. Our water should be somewhere neutral. So exactly, what does ocean acidification exactly do to our ocean? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It kills fishes. Destroys underwater plants, causes corrosion for of, uh, of, of shells. shells of sea creatures. Yeah, you know this why? Because uh, the um, the shells of these creatures are made of uh, calcium. Remember that experiment we did with the egg? What happened with the egg which had that uh, orange in it? Yeah. Orange Control of ocean acidification, and it's one of the. Uh, UN, UN sustainability. sustainability Eagles. Yeah, you can see point number 14, life below water. So your project is based on that, isn't it? Right. Now guys, I'm going to show you a very interesting experiment. We are going to test the pH level on drinking water and its acidification. Things that we need for this experiment are our um, uh, measuring um, cup, 
Yeah, and and um, the pH, pH uh, at some testing drops, testing drops. which is like uh, easily available in any um, now uh, aquarium uh, shops. Aquarium shops. Yeah, and need a, a straw. A straw and two, two identical identi um, uh, containers. Containers and drink fresh drinking water. It's take five ml of drinking water in this this beacon. Double empty container and pour this in. Yeah, the five ml of water. Yeah, have in one of the containers. Now put four drops of pH and some uh, testing liquid. Testing liquid into this water. I'm scared. Carefully. Four drops. Um, one, two, two, three, four. Yeah, four. I think we drop an extra drop there, but that's okay. It's so all it's become. just give it a little shake, and let's close that. Close that. So you can see the change in color. Yeah. Closely, the change in color. Yes, match it with the pH scale. Doesn't dare go here. Doesn't go here. Nope. It's just quite. It goes to six. Yeah, it matches with the color at six. So that's more or less uh, in the neutral scale, right? Yeah. So it's kind of safe. Safe drinking water. So let's keep so, that aside. This is the normal drinking water. Yeah. Okay, so let's keep that here. Yeah. Now again, put five ml of drinking water, water into the other container. Into the other. Yeah. Container. Let's measure out first five ml. I guess you know what to do. Correct. Pour the water into the container. Now I'm going to put some carbon dioxide into this. Just going to take a straw and bubble some carbon dioxide into this. You're bubbling. This water is contaminated with the carbon dioxide. It's checking the with the pH drops. You remember four drops. Four drops. One, two, three, four. Time, friends. The liquid has turned orange. Yeah. Where does it belong? So where does it go in the scale? I think it goes to three and four. Three and four it belongs. To yeah. One of Can them. you see the difference in the um in the color of the liquid? Yeah. One is greenish, which is more greenish? close to like neutral, yeah. and now the uh, acidity has increased in the same water which we used the drinking water and that corresponds to like almost like four and three that is more closer to the acidic level and the ph scale so now we know what happens to our water when carbon contaminates it carbon dioxide right the ph level of our groundwater is eight is around but eight, yeah. But, but it, it is going, rapidly going decreasing, decreasing and decreasing. Decreasing. And it won't be late until it gets really acidic. Yes. And uh, uh, and it will not be uh, suitable for drinking anymore. Yes. As a threat to life, as we said, threat to those uh, marine creatures and threat the corals and threat for us as well. So what can we do to stop all of this? Use your carbon footprint. Carbon footprint is uh, the amount of, of carbon dioxide we put out through our activities. I hope you like my project video.